Fasten your seatbelts because we're about to go from zero to 60 with the housing market. And you've been waiting like many others for the market to crash, but I'm here to tell you that you're just gonna be sitting on the sidelines and the market, it's gonna pass you right on by and you're gonna end up settling for a more expensive house or you're just gonna end up renting for the next three to four years. But I got your back because in this video, we're gonna go over some data points and I'm gonna share with you what my team and I, what we're seeing with our eyes and with our boots on the ground right here in the North Idaho market. Plus, I'm gonna share some recent homes that I've sold. That way it will help you see what you can get with your money up here. Let's go ahead and get started. So there's a local lender up here in North Idaho. His name's Sean Kramer. He's with Highlands Mortgage and he runs a really large and successful team. We met the other day and he shared some of his team's data with me. And I feel like I just, I have to share that with you because it really helps illustrate, it helps support the, the data that I have what I'm seeing with my own eyes. So 24 days into January of 2024, him and his team had $39 million in contract. The previous month, December of 23, they had 25 million in contract. So from 25 million in December to 39 million in January, that's a 65% increase. And when you look at the same date range from January of 23, 24 days in, to January 24, 24 days in, in 2023, they had $32 million. And so between those date ranges and years, that's a 20% increase. And here's the kicker. Mortgage rates, they were actually higher in 2024 in that time frame than they were in January 2023. And you just don't understand. Having that amount of increase in January is mind-blowing because historically the housing market in North Idaho, it basically shuts down right before Christmas and you don't start to see signs of it picking up until the beginning of March, but not this year. This year was very much the opposite of the norm. It's just insane the amount of buyers that are popping up and wanting to buy a home right now. My name is Ben Janetta. I'm a real estate professional right here in North Idaho. And if you're planning to make a move to the area and you wanna learn everything that there is about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good, the bad, the ugly of Sandpoint, then make sure that you subscribe down below. You smash that bell icon. You can also find my calendar link in the description below and you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me to discuss this video or anything else related to North Idaho. Now let's go ahead and get back to our market update. Whitney, who's on my team, she had four buyers come out of the depths and they started looking for houses. In fact, they submitted an offer really recently and it was a multiple offer situation. And yes, those are coming back and I just wanna give out a shout out to Whitney because they won that contract and they're currently on their way to escrow. Now, Kim, who's also on my team, she had a couple homeowners approach her in January and they wanna start getting their houses ready for market, like right now in the middle of winter. Plus, she had a few buyers, they came out of the woodworks as well and they started looking for houses and she got one under contract. Again, all this activity in January, it's just unheard of, it's insane. So if you're planning just to sit back and wait for a crash, I think you're making a huge mistake. And again, it's just based on the data and we're getting to that here in just a second. And I think it's a mistake as well because what we're seeing with our eyes, with the amount of clients and activity that we're, we're having right now in the middle of winter. Now, if you want a copy of my buyer guide, go ahead and text buyer guide, that's one word, to 208-400-6162 and I'll send that right over to you. I'll bring the club back to the horse and I'll continue to kill that horse. Show me the data to support a crash. Show me the data that says that inventory is going to rapidly increase or show me the data that inflation in the CPI reports that they're not improving, which affects the mortgage rates to come down. And in this market, lower rates puts a fire under the buyer's butts to get them to take action, get out of their seats, look at houses and make offers. Now, here's a graph right here and it's showing mortgage rates from January 23 to December of 2023. And those green bars that you see, how they're going down, that represents nine consecutive weeks of mortgage rates dropping. All the economic indicators, they're pointing for rates to continue to drop. And I anticipate that we're gonna see a strong movement down in those rates starting in May of 2024. And that's really based on what Jerome Powell had to say in his recent conference. And here's another graph that really helps illustrate what happens when mortgage rates start to fall. If a buyer is content with a $2,500 monthly payment 
and there's plenty of people who are, they could afford a house at 360,000 with a 7.25 rate. Now, if we stay with that same payment and we go to today's rate of 6.25, they can now afford a house for 400,000. When rates drop to five and a half percent, their buying power goes up to 440,000. You've heard me say this before, I'm not advocating for you to buy a home just for the sake of buying a home. If you have the means, the ability, and you find the house that you love, then you should go buy it. And you shouldn't settle for a more expensive house just because a crash that you've been waiting for has never come. Now, let's look at the total amount of homes that are currently on the market. Right now, that number is at 477, and the total amount of homes that have sold in January of 2024 is 235 with an average sell price of 560,884. And this is what I've been saying. Here's another graph that shows how many houses are on the market for the last three years. And you can see that in the beginning and the end of the year is when it starts to pick up and slow down and peak in the summer months. And you can, so 2021 is in blue, 2022 is in green, 2023 is in the gray and 2024 is yellow. And what you can see is the amount of homes were staying pretty flat, pretty on par, actually a little bit less uh, than the previous years. And this graph is showing you the average sale price per month over the last three years. And you know what you see? They're actually going up. You've been waiting for two years for the crash, but the prices are going up and they're gonna continue going up because mortgage rates, they're gonna come down. And when you get more buyers, more demand for those houses with less inventory, it's just gonna jack up the prices even more. And yes, you can see right here in January 24, the price, the average sell price is down a little bit, but look at the totality of this graph. And this is what I've been saying for a few years now, that we are going to see a price rate increase, slow down, meaning the equity on how fast it's growing, that's gonna slow down and come back to a more normal number. So don't confuse a price decrease, the rate at which it is increasing with the loss of value because home values, they're still increasing, just not at the ridiculous rates of 2020 to 2022. And if, depending on what side of the transaction you're on, that's a good thing. So right over here is a list of homes that have recently sold in Sandpoint and Sago and Dover from the middle of January to the beginning of February of 2024. And you can see most of these homes that have sold, they're less than 500,000 and quite a few were under 400,000. And let me show you now a few homes uh, that have sold in this time frame, from again, the beginning of the year to right now, the middle of February. So this house right here, it's listed at 399 or last listed, it's actually sold. Um, it's in town limits, three beds, two baths, and it's just over a thousand square feet on 0.16 acres. It was built in 1914. Now, I've seen this one in person. It had a recent remodel with some decent finishes, but it can certainly use more of a uh, remodel. You can certainly bike downtown and the grocery store. It's uh, really easy to walk to. Here's one up on Schweitzer, last listed at 1.39 million. It's a four bedroom, three bath condo, just over 2,000 square feet, built in 2015. This is a fantastic look this is a fantastic location where you can walk to the Schweitzer Village. It's a ski in, ski out condo. And what's really nice about this unit, it is short term rental or friendly, which is always a positive. Here's one down in Sagal, last listed for 425,000. This home is just outside of town limits. It's a two bedroom, two bath, just shy of 1400 square feet, built in 1959. It sits on six acres and the home had some recent remodeling, but it definitely needs a little bit more to it. There's a 50 by 120 foot garden, orchard, a chicken house, a covered RV spot with 50 amp power, and there's definitely some room for small farm animals. Now, I'm always open for a good discussion, so if you disagree with me on where the market housing is headed here in North Idaho, make sure that you leave me a comment down below because I would love to hear what you have to say on the map.